So, you know the iOS 11 beta screen recorder has that weird orientation problem where it squashes landscape recorders into portrait? <laughs> Fixed it. Okay, before I show you the fix, let's recap the problem. If you've downloaded iOS 11 beta, you will know that it comes with a built-in screen recorder that we're all looking forward to. However, if you try and record at landscape games, it does this. If I bring up the control center and I press a record button, that will start the countdown to record this game, Pew Pew, which is a landscape shooter. So it's recording right now and I'll just do a quick random game to fly around and dodge some stuff. So we've got a little bit of material that we can record. That all looks fine to me. So we'll bring up the control center again and stop the recording. Now that's stopped, we can go to the photo gallery and what you should see is a awful recording of it all looking squashed and horrible. So the recording will start fine, but as soon as I go back to the game, can you see it auto rotated to portrait and now it's all squashed. So that's a problem and this is a fix. The first thing you want to do before even starting recording is open up the game and make sure that it's in its landscape form. Now lock your device. When you unlock it, make sure you press the home button and get through with the fingerprint scanner because if you try and unlock it with a passcode, it's going to show the lock screen and exit out of the game like that. So you're out of the game now, that's not going to work. So make sure you're in the game, lock it and then unlock your device so it immediately jumps to the game. Now you're going to find that the control center cannot be accessed through the landscape format. It's reverted back to portrait, so you've got to swipe up from the bottom of the screen to get the control center. So you can see now that we're in portrait mode of the control center. I'm going to start the recording, that's going to do the countdown, start the recording as usual, and then we'll play the game as we, we usually would do. So I'll start game no mode, a bit of shooting, and get some recording again, which all looks good as usual when we're doing a recording. Okay, we're gonna now stop the recording. Again, you'll have to swipe up from the bottom of the um, portrait screen, not the landscape screen, and that will finish a recording. Okay, now let's go to our actual photo gallery and look at the new screen recording that we have, which is this one. So you will see that it is in a portrait mode, and if I play the, the recording, you can see that it has recorded in a portrait orientation, but the aspect ratio is spot on. Now it's gonna switch around, so all we need to do at this point is go to any video editor that allows you to rotate the recording. This is an application called Flip and Rotate. It very simply allows you to rotate the orientation of video recordings. You could do this with iMovie or Video Trimmer instead. So I'll select the video that I want to rotate and as you can see the alignment of the control center is in portrait i'll switch it to the left now the alignment of a control center is wrong in landscape orientation but the rest of the recording as you can see now is perfectly aligned so all i need to do at this point is re-export the video out of the application back into my photo gallery which doesn't take long on a very short video obviously this will take much longer on longer screen recordings but for a landscape video recording that was squashed by iOS beta 11 before is now with any look when we go back to the photo gallery as you can see the control center is wrongly aligned but the rest of the game a landscape game is now absolutely perfect boom a couple of things to note about this fix. I don't recommend exiting whatever landscape game you're playing during a recording because then if you go back in, it might screw it all up. And look at it this way. We're using one bug in iOS 11 to fix another bug in iOS 11. So chances are all of this will be fixed in the near future, but for now, it's a good workaround. And one more thing, I want to credit this random person who posted on a Reddit forum on how to do this fix. I had no idea and I've been searching around for hours and fortunately they had the solution. I just wish they watched my videos and they could have told me. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope that illustration was enough. If you've got any questions about this fix, do ask me in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Give us a like if you found this video useful and subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more iOS screen recording content just like this. And of course, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. 
Quick question for anybody still hanging around. Is it worth me selling merch like this? I've been thinking about it. Love to hear your opinions.